Hello everyone. Uh, welcome all of you for the sixth video lecture on the topic Autodesk Robot Structure Analysis. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, sixth experiment uh, analysis of truss uh, two. Our aim is to analyze the truss by using Autodesk Robot Structure Analysis software. Uh, here we are having uh, the different uh, truss having in roller support subjected to loads 20, 30, and 30 kN. The lengths are given to you. After uh, modeling and analysis, we are getting the final result. Member forces. Now uh, I will move on to the uh, software. Okay. Uh, now we are in the front page of our software. Uh, to create a new project, click on the new. Uh, we are already discussed about the truss. Uh, in this dialog box, select the truss uh, 2D design. Uh, so it is loading. Uh, we got the main page of our uh, press analysis so here the same thing uh, we just see the uh, units go for the tools units the dimension uh, meters dimension uh, section dimension in millimeter forces kilonewton moment in kilonewton meter press ok then to set the grids view grid grid step definition and uh, make it as one meter and uh, one meter apply and close zoom it ok I don't want the dots go for the view grid turn off this one okay then uh, I need to define the axis for that geometry axis definition so here you just see it is already given in the problem 3 meter interval in the x-axis 0 3 3 3 3 3 6 uh, 9 12 0 add 3 add 6 add 9 add and last one is 12 add so but in the z axis 0 or you can take this one as 0 okay 0 and plus 3 the vertical distance is plus 3 right so for that go for the z 0 then plus 3 add then apply and close this yeah we are having this this will be the one 2 3 4 5 here it is 1 and 2 now I need to define the member for the geometry select the bars in that I already told you it is a, a bar uh, truss uh, it is made up of steel so it is by default it is taken simple bar and a section so select that one only and uh, provide the members here to you here to this point from this point to you from here to here and also here it is having some members from here to here also so I will see the figure okay it is joining like this uh, okay I, I need to join this one I need to join like this your vertical member and also one of the vertical member here yeah it is like this only yeah I provided all the members close it we are having a truss now I need to provide the supports uh, one is inch and another is roller inch and roller so for that go for the geometry then supports uh, pin node is there roller is not uh, uh, in our uh, window to create a roller go for the new support roller support means only one that is user vertical direction you can name it as uh, roller ok then add close it select that roller ok it is roller place here ok I will take that roller, roller and uh, and I paste this point pin I click on this point close ok it's having uh, okay, it is not each right. Okay, I will verify. Supports. Yeah, pin node only. Pin node means you are like this. Yeah. Two reactions. Yes. Okay. Uh, close this one. Uh, injured and roll. Uh, now uh, I will move on to the analysis. So before that, uh, I need to apply the loads. Right. So 20, 30, 30. So go for the loads, load type, the first one with red, add, 
second nature is live take the live in that add then uh, close it the loads load definition so we are applying the loads on the member uh, the nodes means joints not on the bar so for that select the node in the nodal force it is 20 30 30 so you can take in z direction means vertical minus 20 it is going downward minus 20 okay add it place it here then same thing nodal force here it is minus 30 because going downward in the z axis add so at this point and at this point then uh, apply and close so it is there to see the loads click on, right click on the main screen display loads select this load symbol and load values apply and ok 20 30 30 yeah i need to see the reactions so first i need to analyze go for the analysis calculations uh, it is analyzing the trash and to see the reactions go for the results diagram for parts in that uh, click on the reactions select all and uh, diagram for linear supports the descriptions i need apply and close it yeah you can see you have z value it is 37.5 and it is 42.5 uh, those are the reactions of the supports in support and roller support okay now i need to uh, take the uh, screen capture of this and i need, I need to increase the size of that one uh, the sim uh, values so for the view display you can set, set that one to 40 apply and okay Okay, we can see clearly now file screen capture then uh, you can name it as trash 2 ok then same thing uh, I, I, I need uh, the member forces I don't want the forces the applied loads so double right click on the main screen go for the display loads and select these things apply and ok and then click on the results diagram for both bars then now in that reactions select none ok and also a diagram and description remove that one then go for the deformation ntm to see the member forces so member forces should be fx force apply we can't see the values so for that go for the parameters label differentiated field and i need all the values apply and close you can see the uh, member forces the nature the blue color will be uh, the compression and the yellow color will be the tension and this member uh, it is zero it's not having any force in the member okay I need to take the printout of this one for that go for the file screen capture you can name it as member forces okay press ok then go for the file paste setup header and footer in that header edit you can name it as trust 2 close yes okay file uh, then print out composition i need these two as yes, all so we got this go for the preview then in the last go for the edit so click on this one zoom edge then uh, return to preview same thing in this beam so trash just see yeah, I, I have this one okay return to preview okay after this uh, print okay you can save this file uh, I will save this file in the desktop only okay uh, I name it as trash uh, trash 2 Okay, then save. It is saving the file. Okay, it is over, I think.
and I will close this one. You can save this one also, the Autodesk uh, file, and I name this one as Trust 2 in the experiment folder. Save. Okay, it is taking some time. Okay, I will minimize this, minimize this one also. In the Trust 2 desktop PDF file, I will open this. Yeah, this is Trust 2, subject to loads and the member process. CEO, uh, this is subjected to compression, positive nothing but compression, uh, negative nothing but tens tension in our software. Okay, these members are subjected to tensile force, means increase in the length, and uh, these forces are uh, compression nothing but uh, decrease in the length. Okay, so this will be the end of uh, our video. Uh, thank you one and all.